Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and selamat sejahtera. Hi everybody. In this video, we will discuss topic of cost volume profit analysis part 2. In this video, we will discuss subtopic margin of safety and sensitivity analysis. Margin of safety atau margin keselamatan. In break-even analysis, margin of safety is how much output or sales level can fall before a business reaches its break-even point. It refers to the difference between actual sales and break-even sales. Ini bermaksud, dalam analisis titik pulang modal, margin keselamatan adalah satu keadaan di mana Berapa banyak output atau tahap jualan yang boleh turun sebelum perniagaan mencapai titik pulang modal? Ia merujuk kepada perbezaan antara jualan sebenar dan jualan pada titik pulang modal. Margin of safety can be expressed in monetary terms or units or as a percentage of total sales. The margin of safety implies the sales point over and above the break-even point that results in profit. Selain itu, margin keselamatan bermaksud titik jualan yang berada di atas titik pulang modal akan menghasilkan keuntungan. In other words, margin of safety means margin of safety equals to the actual sales minus the sales at the break-even point. The amounts of sales can decrease before the company incurs an operating loss. The higher of margin of safety, the better it is. The margin of safety may also be calculated in terms of units in ringgit or in percentage. Margin of safety measurement. Number one, margin of safety in units equals to the actual or estimated units of sales minus sales at break-even point in units. Number two, margin of safety in RM equals to the actual or estimated sales in RM minus sales at break-even point in RM. And number three, margin of safety in percentage equals to margin of safety in units or RM divided by the actual or estimated sales in units or RM. Now, we look at Exhibit 1. If break-even points in sales equals to 15,500 ringgit at 5,000 unit and the actual sales equals to 22,320 ringgit at 7,200 units, so margin of safety in RM equals to 22,320 ringgit minus 15,500 ringgit equals to 6,820 ringgit. If margin of safety in units equals to 7,200 units minus 5,000 units equals to 2,200 units. And margin of safety in percentage equals to 6,820 ringgit divided by 22,320 ringgit or 2,200 units divided by 7,200 units equals to 31%. Margin of safety is illustrated in this graph. 
This graph shows the margin of safety area between sales at break-even point and actual sales. Sensitivity analysis ataupun analisis sensitivity. Sensitivity analysis is a technique that estimate profit or loss if selling price, variable cost, fixed cost, volume or underlying assumption is changing. Ini bermaksud, analisis sensitivity adalah satu teknik yang menganggarkan untung atau rugi jika harga jualan, kos berubah, kos tetap, volume ataupun andaian dasar berubah. Firstly, changes in variable cost. The changes in variable cost will affect the contribution margin. Now we look at Exhibit 2. In order to increase the sales volume, Pilar Syamrahat plan to give 10% commission of selling price to the salesman. The following are the operating data. Selling price per unit RM20, variable cost per unit RM16, and fixed cost per year RM16,000. Compute number 1. Required sales in unit at break-even point. Number 2. The required sales to earn target profit of RM15,000. So, what is the clue here? The clue is 10% commission. And this 10% commission is a variable cost. So, in calculation, it will affect the contribution margin. For solution, as you know, contribution margin equals to sales price minus variable cost. So in this case, you have to find new contribution margin per unit. So the formula is sales price minus variable cost plus 10% times sales price. As per questions, equals to the sales price is 20 ringgit minus the variable cost is 16 ringgit plus 10% of 20 ringgit equals to 20 ringgit minus 18 ringgit equals to 2 ringgit. So 2 ringgit is the new contribution margin per unit. So to answer the question, the sales unit in break-even point equals to fixed cost plus target profit divided by contribution margin per unit equals to the fixed cost is 16,000 plus that is no target profit so 0 divided by 2 ringgit the new contribution margin per unit. So the answer is 8,000 unit. Solution for question 2. Sales in unit to earn target profit RM15,000 equals to fixed cost plus target profit divided by Contribution margin per unit equals to RM16,000 plus RM15,000, the target profit, divide by RM2 equals to 15,500 units of sales. Secondly, Changes in fixed cost. We straight away look at Exhibit 3. 
In order to increase the sales volume, Pilah Chamberhat considering a proposal to spend an additional cost on advertising of RM5000. The following are the operating data. Selling price per unit RM20, variable cost per unit RM16, fixed cost per year RM16000. Calculate number 1. Required sales in unit at break-even point and number 2, the required sales in the unit to earn target profit of RM15,000. So, what is the clue here? The clue is advertising. Advertising is a fixed cost. For solution, firstly, we calculate the new fixed cost equals to the old fixed cost is 16,000 ringgit plus the additional cost is 5,000 ringgit. So the new fixed cost equals to 21,000 ringgit. So to answer question one, Sales unit in break-even point equals to the new fixed cost 21,000 plus zero, the target profit, divide by contribution margin per unit. That is 20 ringgit minus 16 ringgit, the variable cost. So, the answer is 5,250 units. To answer question 2, sales unit or volume to earn target profit RM15,000 equals to the new fixed cost 21,000 plus the target profit RM15,000 divided by Contribution margin per unit, that is 4 ringgit, equals to 9,000 units of sales. Thirdly, the changes in selling price. That is to determine the selling price in order to achieve break-even point or the target profit. Exhibit 4. In order to increase the sales volume, Pilah Syambrahat considering a proposal to reduce 10% of the selling price. The following are the operating data. Selling price per unit RM20, variable cost per unit RM16 and fixed cost per year RM16,000. Compute number 1. Required sales in unit at break-even point and number two, the required sales in unit to earn target profit of RM15,000. For solution, firstly, we calculate the new selling price equals to RM20, the selling price, Minus because it reduced 10%. So we minus 20 ringgit times 10%. So the new selling price equals to RM18. Or you can calculate RM20 times 90% equals to RM18. So to answer the question number 1, sales in unit at BEP equals to fixed cost 16,000 plus 0, the target profit, divided by contribution margin per unit. That is the new sales price RM18 minus variable cost RM16. So the answer is 8,000 unit. To answer question 2, required sales in unit 
to earn target profit RM15,000 equals to the fixed cost RM16,000 plus the target profit RM15,000 divided by the contribution margin per unit RM2. So the answer is 15,500 units. Effects of changes in selling price, variable cost and fixed cost are illustrated as per table. The cost, the effect in contribution margin per unit, and the results in break-even point. If selling price per unit increase, the contribution margin per unit will increase and the break-even point will decrease. If selling price per unit decrease, the contribution margin per unit will decrease and the break-even point will increase. If variable cost per unit increase, the contribution margin per unit will decrease and the break-even point will increase. If variable cost per unit decrease, the contribution margin per unit will increase and the break-even point will decrease. If total fixed cost increase, there is no effect in contribution margin per unit, but the break-even point will increase. If total fixed cost decrease, there is no effect in contribution margin per unit, but the break-even point will decrease. Okay, that's all for topic of cost volume profit analysis. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and share. See you on the next video on the topic of manufacturing overhead. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and selamat sejahtera.